well, it looks like we're all here. So let's dive in and do our uh, weekly webinar Wednesday at one. A lot of W's there. And uh, we have a couple things that we've been working on this week uh, that we want to share with you. Maida, if you want to dive in and share with us what you've got, and then we'll visit with Carlos here in a minute. Sure, thank you. Uh, today, I want to show you some updates that we have uh, made in IDX salons. And this is only a reminder that you can find. Well, this is related to IDX Worker, and what I'm going to show you, you can find it in idxsalons.com. So we have a new theme for the Community Yelp Business Widget, and it looks something like this. It has this new look and feel that looks like Instagram. It looks more modern. And I would like to show you two like live demos so you can see how you can create a widget like this one. Uh, you would need to go to idxalons.com and this is how the dashboard looks. So you can look here for the Jelp community widget. And first, uh, I'm going to show you two ways to generate this widget. One is uh, by using an IDX broker saved link. What's an IDX broker saved link? It's a page like this one where you can add uh, specific search criteria to show specific properties. And this is an example of one community page for uh, Miami, Miami Beach. And this is how the Jelp widget looks. So uh, in case you want to generate one using a saved link, you would need to go here and look for the saved link. Um, let's use Miami Beach. These things. And I'm going to leave here the default values for the categories and the limit of results. But here I'm going to choose the Chelsea uh, theme. And you would need here to click on get code snippet. And here you would copy the code and I'm going to paste it here in JS Fiddle. So you can see how it looks. And it's loading. I might have a slow internet connection because I'm sharing the screen. But here you can see how this new widget is going to look. And here you can see all the categories at the top. Mm -hmm. You can also change uh, the settings for the categories or the limit in case you want to show more results. And now I want to show you how you can create the same widget, but using an address. Because for the saved links, what we're doing is to get one of the properties of the saved link and look for the address. But in case you want or you know the specific address, you would need to enter here the address. I also, I'm going to leave here the settings. I'm going to click here on get code snippet, copy it. And I'm going to paste it here because now I'm using an address and I'm going to click here on run. And now it's showing um, all these businesses that are near this address that I selected. So this is our new theme and you can find it in idxsalons.com for the Jelp business. In case you want to add it to a community page or to a save it link in IDX broker, you can do it uh, here. And that would be all. I don't know if you have any comments or questions. Thank you, Maida, that's great. So you're saying that this new theme that's available for people, if they already have an existing um, community page, will they need to, can they update it or will this work on our community page generator or not yet? Or how, how does that look? No, right now uh, they would need to generate here manually. This is okay. the only place where you can select a different template and okay. they would copy here the code and paste it wherever they want to add it. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's great. And this is free, right? For all our IDX broker users. Yes, it's free. Okay, cool. Cool. Very good. Thank you. Appreciate that, Maida. Sure. Carlos, do you want to share with us what you've been working on? Yes, thank you. Well, the last week I was showing um, updates for the leader MLS project. That is uh, a way to upload properties on a high level website to being able to search uh, properties, save properties. And this is the update that I have for you now. Uh, this is a high level website, as you can see here. And the software is installed by using um, a small script like this one, quick search widget. And when you visit the website, this is the widget that is going to be generated. And also for a carousel of properties. And you can uh, click on them or start searching uh, your properties. For example, I'm going to look for properties on California. And let's see. So here we have a page of results in a high level website. Uh, this is something to, that we are very excited about. As you can see, you, you have filters, uh, price filters, bets, bats, and property types, and you can uh, start looking for other properties. Uh, right now, um, if you select, uh, uh, if you search for listings that doesn't have results, it's not going to show you. It's, on, it's only going to show those cities where, where you have properties. That is uh, intended for always have results. I will always have um, listings. So I want to show you also that you, you can um, save a property. So let's see, I want to save this property and I need to register. Uh, I can create a new account or I can sign in uh, using uh, an already created account. And right now I have uh, this property saved and this is my, my account, this is my profile. So this is the update that we have for you. Uh, you can upload properties, you can uh, search properties, you will have uh, widgets like this one. You can uh, also save properties and start showing your listings right here without needing uh, a subscription for any IDX provider. This is a, a, a software that you can offer to your clients. Uh, you can create uh, any sub accounts in, in, in the websites that you want to have this, this software. And we are excited about these updates and wanted to, to show you. Thank, Thank you, you, Carlos. So, so let me ask you a question, Carlos, just uh, for folks that are watching this. So here at Realty Candy, we've been focusing for the last 12 or 13 years on providing IDX and IDX broker services and stuff. So what you're saying is with this, this is for properties that are not on the MLS. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay. So some, what, are, what are some use cases for, for folks that would want something like this? Well, for example, if you are in an area where you don't have any MLS feed, okay. or you are on a, any country that doesn't have cover by, by any IDX provider, you can use this software to provide a quick and easy way to upload properties and search. Okay. And do you think this would work for, um, Besides those scenarios, what about like property investors? Is that something that would work for them, do you think, or not so much? That's right. That's one of the main resource, reasons we are uh, working on this because it's a, we can use it for properties that investors can sell or, or buy. And, and you mentioned that this works on high level. So does this only work on high level? What if, what if we have like a WordPress site or we're using something else? It, it will also work because we are using a custom H, HTML, custom JavaScript. So any 
CMS that supports custom HTML is going to support this uh, software in it's all it's it's most of the CMS. WordPress, okay. Wix, any of them can we can install. That's awesome. Hey, we really appreciate you sharing that with us, Carlos. Thank you so much. Thank mm-hmm. you.